What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be updating you with the movies that I bought throughout the month of February. Now, it's not too big of a stack really, so it, it's enough to where you can just hold it in one hand. So I'm going to try to fly by these and not give no reviews or anything like that, like in-depth reviews. I'll just give you my thoughts on what the movie was like and I'll settle it at that. But I do have Hacksaw Ridge on 4K. Don't have it on me. My dad's borrowing it. I do have that. So if you're wondering... I just did a video just a couple days ago or yesterday, whatever, of a movie night of that movie, but I do got it on 4K. So let's go ahead and, the re well, I just want to say the reason why I said that is because March, it might be even smaller of a stack because there's not too many movies I'm too interested in. There's only three titles I know of. It's uh, Fantastic Beast I want to get, Red Dawn, the original, and uh, The Love Witch. Those are like the only three that I'm really interested in. I'm, I can't think of nothing else at the top of my head. But anyway, jumping into this, one of the movies I picked up was The Edge of 17. Went into this with a blank mind, and I was shocked on how good this movie really, really was. And man, my mouth is watering right now because eating too much of these chips. These chips are good. These uh, Southwestern quesadillas, oh my gosh, those are good. But um, sorry, that was not a plug or anything. This video is sponsored by these people. No. Now, I'm just saying, I keep like seeing it out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like, those are tasty. But anyway, this movie was actually really, really good. Check it out if you're in the comedy. Okay, the next one I picked up, I did an unboxing of these, and you know where it's going by seeing the first one. I got Doug, the complete Nickelodeon series. Never got into Doug back then, but I heard the people that are a fan of Doug, they told me that the there was another channel that played Doug, and it wasn't that good. The Nickelodeon series is the best, is what the fans tell me, and I can see where they're coming from. After watching these, I was like, okay, I've only watched a few with uh, Tori. Okay, I can understand why everyone's liking the show. It's pretty good, and the other ones that I said you know where I'm going with is Are You Afraid of the Dark Season 1, 2, and 3. Now, my girlfriend never told me she was in Are You Afraid of the Dark. Nev Campbell, you know, just don't tell her that. Anyway, no. But uh, Nev Campbell, oh, I've always had a crush on her. But anyway, I hear she's in season three somewhere, so i got to watch out for that, but it's taking forever. I love these shows and all that growing up, and now that I can finally have them back in my hands, I'm so happy, but it's took me quite a few weeks to get through the first disc, and there's only like six episodes or seven on the first disc, and I'm like, man, the time's going by too quick. I just can't get time to sit down and watch anything almost anymore without separating it, so... Same thing with American Horror Story. Still haven't seen a single episode, and I got season one through five in there still, and it's just taking me a while. I'm sorry, folks. I'm trying to get through these, and I will get through these two again just to see how they work. Okay, next one up. Now, I'm a fan of Quentin Tarantino, and I don't know why this took me this long to get into these two movies. Don't be too mad at me because I have one guy who almost slapped me. Not literally. He was about to kick my butt, he said, but he was like, how are you a fan of Quentin Tarantino and never seen these? These are his top movies, is what he said. Kill Bill, uh, Volume 1 and 2. Didn't see him until just last month, and I really enjoyed it. I love the cinematography. I love the shots. The Man, I just really love the retro Grindhouse logo, too, at the beginning of the movie. I was just like, that's awesome. I love it already, but these were good. And the fact that I grew up on... Uh, no, I almost said Quentin Tarantino. I mean, when I was growing up watching Pulp Fiction and all that, I kind of had that little crush on Uma Thurman, and I can't believe I didn't watch these knowing that I liked her and the fact that she's blonde. Oh, double whammy right there. I love blondes, and Uma Thurman as a blonde, woo, she was really pretty in this. I couldn't help it. But anyway, pretty good movies. I really, really enjoyed them, and you can't beat five bucks at Walmart, so definitely got that. Now, the next couple are 4Ks. Now, we'll talk about Arrival. Pretty good 4K. Not for a picture, though. You're not going to get the best picture ever when it comes to Arrival. So if you're looking into picture and not even sound for your 4K, just stick with the Blu-ray on this because Blu-ray looked just as good. It looked incredible, but the sound quality was really good on this. Like, your center speaker had a lot of action going on from this movie. Really, really good sound from this 4K. Good movie, too. Really, really interesting. But it's not the best looking 4K, so don't expect that when you get it. But this 4K, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This 4K looks good. It sounds good. And the special features, I don't know because 
I, I have had time to go through them, but I'm, I don't know if they're the same as the regular standard Blu-ray I got in there, but John Wick on 4K. Absolutely love this movie. It was one of my favorites of that year when it came out. In recent years, I should say, and uh, Sicario. John Wick and Sicario, man, those are like some of my recent favorites. I really love these movies, and I haven't got a chance to see part two, as I said, strictly on the time frame and all that, so I'm trying my best to get to the theater and see it before it's taken out and transferred to this, but I'm trying my best. Now, on to the last one. Oh, one of my recent Pride and Joys I got, the 3D Steelbook of Doctor Strange. I did an unboxing of this. I love the Steelbook, and the reason why it's one of my Pride and Joy recent ones is because I can't believe people on eBay. They're trying to charge like I've seen one guy charge a hundred bucks for this, trying to charge that. No wonder it's not selling and it's backwards. But I can't believe some of the people are charging 60 bucks and getting away with it. And I've seen them sell at 60 bucks. I'm like, this is not worth 60 bucks. I only paid like, I think it was 30 bucks for it. And uh, I, I don't get it. But the fact that people are buying them so quick and selling them that quick, and I'm like, they must be that hard to find, I guess. I don't know. But I'm glad to have it in my collection because the 3D was mind-blowing on this. I was just having a fun time watching this in 3D. So, plus it was a good movie too. And the sound, I think, there it goes backwards again, sorry. But I think that sound was really amazing. Like, I love the storyline, don't get me wrong and all, but the sound quality to this movie, man, it was spectacular. That is what shined from this movie, was that sound. I love the effects and all, but that sound, hence my name, Surround Sound Freak. I just can't help it when I sit down and watch a movie, I love to like, you know, dissect the sound and I just can't help it. So those are the movies I picked up throughout the month of February. What did you pick up and what movies are you looking forward to getting in March? If you're too shy to make a video response on YouTube, I can understand that. But feel free to send a picture to my Facebook, Twitter, whatever on one of my social media accounts. It's always in the description below. Stay in contact with me. I like to hear what you're getting because... Because I love watching what people get, and I don't know why, because movies are always a gateway to like happiness, it seems, for a lot of people, to where they can sit down from a crappy day, watch a movie, and be happy, and that's, I'm one of those people. I love watching movies, all types, I love horror, mostly, but, you know, I didn't pick up no horror this month, so I'm going to try to get some more next month, and get into the old school horror of the ones I don't got, maybe some Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I don't know. We'll see how that goes, but stay tuned for some more videos coming up in the future. I'll see you guys in that video. You guys have a good day.